Introducing uh, Mike Tyson. Six months into Mike Tyson's professional career, and his reputation was growing, as was the issue of finding a boxer who could last more than a couple of rounds with the Iron Man. Manager Jimmy Jacobs designed Mike's busy schedule, but his devastating punch and hungry critics demanded a change in tactics. Fight number eight was against a more experienced fighter called Michael Johnson. Okay, we've got a fight coming up pretty soon here, a heavyweight fight. We've got Mike Tyson against Michael Johnson. Uh, Michael Johnson uh, out of Florida with 12 wins and uh, five losses, eight by knockouts, is going to fight a very tough young man. Yes, uh, Mike Tyson, in my opinion, the most exciting young heavyweight in boxing. He keeps punching, seven wins, seven knockouts, no losses, almost made the 1984 Olympic team at the age of 17. He's 19 now. And uh, if you haven't seen him fight, you're in for a treat. And he's also built like a bull. He's only six foot tall, but he's built. He's got a back that, that looks like a brick wall. Six foot tall and six foot wide. <laughs> and Steve was able to talk to him a little bit earlier today, along with his manager. So let's take a look at that interview. Steve with Mike Tyson. Steve Farhood with undefeated heavyweight Mike Tyson, 7-0, 7 knockouts, and his co-manager Jimmy Jacobs. Mike, so far the record is perfect. Do you think what you need right now is a, a good, tough distance fight? Well, no, because as I look at it, the point, and as everything's going now, I'm confident, I'm getting more belief from the fights going to, to one round or two rounds, whatever they're going, no matter who it is. If the round happens to go 10 rounds, which I doubt, because as long as the fight go, I become more hungrier, and I just, everything just, I dwell on the heat, everything, and I feel great mm -hmm. when a fight. Maybe if I fight somebody and the fight go 10 rounds, the outcome for the opponent would be even worse than a one-round knockout. Okay. Co-manager Jim Jacobs, you must be pleased with Mike's development so far. You have one of, one of boxing's most exciting young fighters. Well, it's true, Steve, but one of the problems that uh, we have, Bill Caton and I, managing Mike, is that when you manage a fighter who's a devastating puncher, you cannot really calculatingly plan for a fight to go eight rounds or 10 rounds because... Uh, Mike punches so hard that uh, eventually the, f the, the fighter goes out very early, which uh, is a disadvantage for Mike because he doesn't get the rounds of fighting that uh, mm -hmm. you people would call experience. Right. Huh. Okay. Mike, tonight you're fighting a fighter 196 pounds. You came in, I believe, your career high in terms of weight. Um, is a cruiser, he's really a cruiser weight. Is this uh, something you're working on for speed? Nothing at all. Um, again, you're asking the wrong person because mm -hmm. I didn't pick the opponent. You have to talk to Jim Jacobs. But as of the fight and everything, I'm looking at him just another passing point to the title. Mm -hmm. Whoever's in the way, I don't care who they are at the moment. They're just, people might say opponents, but as I say, I'm just going through them because this is for real and Mike Tyson's for real. Okay, Mike Tyson, Jim Jacobs, thank you both very much and good luck. Thank you. And back here at the Atlantis Casino Hotel, Mike Forrest with Steve Farhood, and I got to tell you, I just spent an entire day with heavyweight champ Larry Holmes about a week ago, and Mike Tyson sounds just like him. But let's Ladies go up to Stefan Harari for the official announcement of this bout. in the heavyweight division. Our referee for this fight is Frank Cappuccino. First in the blue corner, wearing the black trunks with the red trim, weighing in at 196 pounds. His record is 12 wins, 5 losses. Eight of those wins by knockout from Florida. Please welcome Michael Jack Johnson. Johnson. And his opponent in the red corner wearing the white trunks with the green trim. Undefeated with seven wins, all of them by knockout. Hails from the Catskills in New York. Please welcome, weighing 219 and a half pounds, Mike Tyson. Tyson. Well, I was about to say when Stefan Harari uh, made the announcement, Mike Tyson really vocally sounds just like Larry Holmes. I mean, I thought I was back in eastern Pennsylvania talking to the champ. He does sound like him. Unbelievable. He's meaner, though. Is he meaner? <laughs> Look uh, at the size of him. He looks a, like the Incredible Hulk. He really does. In that does. case, I'm glad I'm not Michael Jack Johnson. Yeah, Round this. number one, scheduled six, but hold on to your hats. Nobody thinks it's going to go that far. 
Well, oh, there he goes. He's just going to pull his way in. Those rights to the body. Left jab, right to the heart. Quickly want to point out, first fight for Michael Jack Johnson in two years. I'm glad you pointed it out because down he goes. The left hook just buried him, dug him in the ribs. I think it was a and Michael left and Jack a right. Johnson went goodbye. That left hook just caught him and sent him right to the canvas. 23 pound weight oh, advantage. My goodness. And he put the it all right, there. The right to the head, and it's all over. Goodbye. I hope he's not hurt because that was a brutal, wide open punch. He did not have his guard up, and Mike Tyson just. <laughs> Michael Jack Johnson, a big smile, but he didn't even break a sweat. He may have to run around on the boardwalk a little bit to uh, get his nights working. Just, just to kind of wind down. You know, these fighters get geared up for these fights, and what's he going to do after a couple of seconds' work? He may take on the house. It was a, it was a right hand. It was a right hand, right there. No, we didn't see it yet. I'm Where sorry, here it comes. There's the left there's hook. There's the hook to the body. He, and missed, he missed the right. The right. Yeah. It was just the left hook, and he has so much power in that left. I mean, that's the kind that breaks ribs, folks. That was a left hook to the liver. <laughs> oh, my goodness. And look at that, man. That's Michael Jack Johnson flat on the canvas. Uh, the ring doctor kneeling over him is Mike Tyson has the gloves cut off. I don't even know why he bothered putting them on. <laughs> okay, Mike Tyson uh, with the gloves off. Michael Jack Johnson got up off the canvas. One right hand. He didn't wait for an invitation. Here it comes. Whoa. I'll tell you, Michael Jack Johnson earned his money the hard way tonight. Well, there's not much to say about that knockout except to watch it. I think, as a matter of fact, that was such a, a fantastic finish. By the way, there's Michael Jack Johnson uh, getting up, and I think my friend Steve Farhood is going to get up into the ring, and we're going to have him talk to Mike Tyson as soon as he can get in there. Look at Michael Jack Johnson. He's still hurting. That jaw might be broken. That jaw may very well be broken. There's the scene in the ring. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Frank Cappuccino stops this bout. Actually, it wasn't stopped. It's by knockout at 39 seconds of the first round. The winner and still undefeated with eight knockouts, eight wins from the Catskills, New York, Mike Tyson. Unbelievable. Tyson. And there's your winner. All by knockouts, all eight victories. You heard it, 39 seconds of round number one. The man, in the truest sense, is an animal, but we say that in a positive way as it refers to almost any athlete. You say he's an animal, it's a very big compliment. There's your loser, Michael Jack Johnson, still sitting down. The ring doctor will not allow him up until he's sure he's okay. He took a brutal shot to the face. A fantastic right hand by Mike Tyson, who is going to go a long way because he is strong. He is like a bull. And Steve Farhood is getting prepared to talk to the winner as you look at the loser, still wondering where he is. Look at him. He still looks a little bit woozy. I wonder if his jaw did get broken. That was a tremendous shot he took. There's your winner again. As Steve Parhead is now in the ring, and he'll be talking with the winner right now, Mike Tyson and his manager, Jimmy Jacobs. Take it, Steve. Steve Farhood with the winner, Mike Tyson, manager, Jimmy Jacobs. Mike, the second, the first knockdown left hook to the body you saw on opening? No, I was practicing mostly on the punch into the body. In this fight, I was very relaxed and very calm, and I'm, I plan on staying that way for all my fights um, in the present. And as you say, when I caught him with the left hook, I heard him grunt, and I thought, come back real fast. And that was the game plan. The right hand after that, you didn't wait for an invitation, went right at him. Not at all. It, 
it's my style. You, you make your own opening. You, have, you time things. Everything was set up. When, I, when he went down the first time, I knew what was going to hit him, and that's how he planned. To be a pro fighter, I'm the master of the pinpoint. My, my shots are so accurate and so precise, not to be egotistic, but when they land, they're so precise. I, you can't, I just can't help it who you are. You have to go down because there's a law when Mike Tyson hits you. Any heavyweight was going to go down from that right hand the way you hit him. I believe so also. And I'd like to thank um, my manager right here, Jim Jacobs, for giving me the opportunity to fight with Jeff Levine. Okay, let's bring Jim in here. Jim. Hi, Steve. Is he going to knock out everybody? Yeah. Well, we have a marvelous problem, Steve. As I told you uh, before the fight, the marvelous problem is that it's very difficult uh, with a kid who throws hydrogen bombs mm -hmm. to get him experience. I mean, everyone to, uh, states, well, why, why don't you get him fights where they'll, he'll go seven, eight, ten rounds? The problem, which appears to be insurmountable, is that he is one of the most devastating punchers that I've seen in the last ten years. Mm -hmm. And that's, that's a problem. Nobody can take his punches. So until he, we can get someone who can go five, six, seven rounds, it's going to continue to be a problem, a well, lovely he, problem. He proved the devastation tonight. It must be very hard also to get sparring partners. It's extremely difficult to get sparring partners, but even more difficult now. Uh, Mike has only had eight fights, but the word is out, and that is that every punch he throws is a knockout punch. Oh. I mean, the, punch that you, the punches you saw tonight could knock out any heavyweight in the world. And it's a problem. He's a young 19-year-old boy with amazing talent, amazing punching ability, and uh, we're going to have to struggle through. Any timetable we can talk about at this point? Well, he's going to be uh, moved up to eight-round fights, if you want to call them eight-round fights, at the end of this month. Uh, but it really doesn't matter whether you schedule a fight for eight rounds or 20 rounds. Uh, you saw the, the type of punches that he throws, and it's a question of who can survive that type of punching. I don't know of any heavyweight who can take those kind of punches. Jimmy, thank you. Mike, congratulations. The first round knockout winner. And uh, back to Mike Forrest at ringside. Thank you, Steve. Uh, devastating puncher, Mike Tyson. Let's take a look at the first knockdown. This is the knockout, I'm sorry, because I just saw Frank Cappuccino step out of the way, and I'm glad he did, because if he had gotten in the way of that, oh my goodness. Oh, good night. Good night, Irene. The party's over for Mike Jack Johnson.